welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 21st of February 2022 and you might see that there is a little difference today a little bit uh, different for what we've done I've changed quite a lot with the setup but I've kind of did it very similar to what I've did, done before but the computer is now outside the room or has a it's separate room so the audio should be better and we should have a bit more distance between me and the green screen so there should be a bit more of a professional look around my hair and stuff yeah so that was it for my news for the, the studio but now let's get into the whiskey first is a very very good news because we have a new distillery that is being planned and that is in Campbelltown on the Isle of Kintyre R&B distillers they're also the proprietors of Razai distillery and they are want to build they want to build a new CO2 neutral distillery in Campbelltown with a visitor center they are still in the planning stage but hopefully they will get into that because yeah the R&B distillers they are, have already quite some experience with um, their Razai distillery and the second news is another distillery opening up and it's also in um, Campbelltown they're also planning a second distillery it's called Dal R Riata and it's a uh, it's not for R&B distillers, but three yeah, founders came together. They are known in the whiskey scenery and they want to build a distillery that produces 850,000 liters of pure alcohol per year. And they want to do it with local barley. Um, and while they did that for starting the planning stage for that distillery, they also brought out the whiskey label South Star Spirits. Three new single malts will come out with the first edition. To the whiskey market obviously not distilled in Campbelltown at their distillery because it's still in planning they're going to be uncolored unchill filtered 48% ABV and should come to the market in the coming week then we move over to Glendronach they're bringing out their cask bo uh, cask bottling batch number 19 uh, and their cask strength batch number 10 the cask strength batch number 19 is 12 individual bottlings or they are bottlings from single casks but they are distributed internationally so some bottlings get some international markets so you should see a few international uh, a few bottlings maybe in your market from Gendonach and the cask bottling a uh, cask bottling batch number 19 then we have the cask strength batch number 10 and that will be a Glendronach cask um, PX Oloroso in 58.6% APG and it should come out in March yeah then we have uh, Ireland uh, one in news from the Irish Isle and that's the hinge number 12 Amarone finish it was matured 11 years in ex bourbon barrels and then finished for 12 more months in Amarone casks uh, 500 liter 446 percent ABB not colored not chill filtered and worldwide they only have 3,000 bottles so they may be selling out quite quickly then we have news from america and they are quite investive or they're investing quite a lot 12 million us dollars are being uh, invested into a new uh, barrel storage or cask storage and that is with the us american mgp ingredients distillery you might not have heard from them a lot because they are an ndp distillery so they are just distilling and selling their stuff without having an uh, own brand but they have been bought by luxco so they are probably going to produce more and more for the luxco brands now and they want to do more of an aging aging process so now they need more cask storage and yeah also, the Luxco is investing into their um, into their Bardstown distillery production. So um, they want to increase production by 75%. So they are doing quite a lot. So everything is going on and they're investing quite some money. That's kind of the story here. Then we have Angel and the Cellar Collection. And they are in, yeah, emboldening their collection with a rye whiskey finished in ice cider casks. It's the fourth... Um, it's their fourth bottling and it's seven years in 
seven years in yeah, normal casks with a 95% rye whiskey, so very, very high rye whiskey. Uh, then it was matured for nearly a year, 364 days in ice wine casks limited to 6,000 bottles and an ABV of 53.5% ABV. Unfortunately for all, everybody in the international circuits, it's only available in the United States. If you're in the United States, you're lucky. You should get one of these bottles because they are supposed to be really good. Yeah, then we have the new I.W. Harbor Chabernier cask. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon finished in California Chabernier cask for uh, 90 proof, 45% ABV. And we're quite seeing a trend here with the ice cider cask, Chabernier casks, that the Americans are now getting into that business of finishing their whiskey in different casks. So, yeah, that's a trend that it's picking up since yeah, 2020, 2021, uh, and now it's really picking up in 2022. Let's see if that is any good because I didn't have many of them yet. I think I had one or two up till now. Then we have news from the international markets. The Stowning Distillery is doing a boycott and they are stopping their whiskey production to raise awareness and they are raising awareness for a conflict and they're actually uh, saying other to other distilleries that they shut down production as well to raise awareness of a conflict no it's not ukraine it's not syria it's a conflict between denmark and canada that has been raging since 1930 and that is about um, over hans island and that's a island in the north atlantic i think and yeah they want to pressure Canada and Denmark to really get together and solve that conflict. I'm not quite sure. I think I know that conflict. It's called, I think it's called the whiskey conflict where then Danish troops in wait, uh, set up their flag, drink some booze and then get back, leave some booze. The Canadians come in, do the same. And I thought that was quite some yeah, tradition a sort of conflict that was quite funny but uh, um, supposedly it is not or maybe the Danish uh, the Stowning Distillery just don't find it funny not quite sure about that but uh, the Stowning Distillery is actually shutting down their production to raise awareness about that so yeah then we have the um, first uh, yeah they have the beginning of the production of the Nine Rivers Distillery and the Nine Rivers Distillery will be China's biggest single malt distillery yeah, so a lot of people, 112 people from 19 different countries have been uh, there at the distillery and they started production and they want to do a new kind of development with a distilling and patented distilling process and they want to raise a new standard of single malt whiskey. That's all really, really big words and I think they are starting off quite good, but uh, in the end it really uh, depends on what kind of product you get out. So um, good luck to you out there for the Nine, Nine Rivers Distillery. Hopefully it will be good and we will judge you of what you will release in the future. So that was it for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.